Happy 2018! It may be a brand spanking new year, but thanks to the return of the Raise a Mary Sue fanboy cry, it's like 2015 all over again. Aww. In case you missed it, which if you did, please tell us where you were hiding so we can go to that fan bro free paradise. The Last Jedi caused a bit of a stir with a subsection of Star Wars fans. For those of you who may not exactly know what a Mary Sue is, it's a pejorative term used to describe an overly qualified female character in fiction. Here are some of our favorite arguments from some very passionate Padawans that were just so... we felt compelled to reply. Literal Mary Sue, female character having powers for the sake of a narrative. Rey is a nobody, but somehow has a connection to Luke's lightsaber, defeats the grandson of Darth Vader with zero training, basically trains herself in The Last Jedi, saves the day twice, hashtag not my Star Wars. Rey is a nobody, but somehow has a connection to Luke's lightsaber. Yes, you understood the plot of the movie. Also, everyone has powers for the sake of the narrative. It's a movie. Wow, the worst rebuttal that Ray is a Mary Sue was from Daisy Ridley, where she said that the term is sexist, it's not. And Luke was also a Gary Sue, he wasn't. Luke Skywalker had three films to become a master. Ray was doing Jedi mind tricks from the first film. Hashtag last Jedi awful. That term is sexist, it's not. Okay, but it is though. The term is based on a character created by Paula Smith in her 1973 Star Trek parody, A Trekkie's Tale. Lieutenant Mary Sue was a satirized version of the often unrealistic female characters that popped up in Star Trek fanfiction. But today's use of the term isn't taking the piss at a hyper-capable female characters that only end up as romantic interest for the less skilled male leads, when we all know they should have actually been the heroes of the stories. Instead, calling a character Mary Sue is essentially saying that they're little more than wish fulfillment. And it's a charge that's primarily hurled at female characters by male fans as opposed to, say, calling all these guys Marty, Gary, or Larry Stews. I was one of those people who said Ray is a Mary Sue and I was demonized for it heavy. After this shitty film, there is no denying it. No way in hell can someone be a perfect Jedi with zero training. Hashtag the last Jedi awful. I'm not entirely sure calling this film shitty is a sound argument. However, I agree. No way can someone with zero training be a perfect Jedi. Rey is a Mary Sue in every sense of the word in this film. She has little to no training, yet can handle a lightsaber like a pro. She has amazing force abilities, all because the plot calls for it. The force is now a MacGuffin more so than ever. It can do whatever is required of it. Okay, so let me make sure we're all on the same page here. What these fans are saying is that it's completely unbelievable that this woman could have the Force, be strong with the Force, and be inexplicably good at various things with little to no training whatsoever. That no way her life on a barren, sandy planet would afford her the opportunity to be as capable a pilot as she is. Or that someone who just found out they had the Force would be capable of using it to fight against the reincarnated Empire. And definitely not be able to wield a lightsaber in a battle against a far more experienced Sith with any success. Yeah, there's certainly no precedent for any of that. In a franchise that gives us cannibalistic teddy bears, a giant slug gangster, a magical power that certain beings have due to midichlorians. What are midichlorians? Midichlorians are a microscopic life form that resides within all living cells. And this fucking guy, the bone these guys have to pick is with Ray being good at things. Fantasy requires a level of disbelief from the audience. That's why all of this stuff is totally okay. But when you decide that believing a female character being as capable as her male predecessor, never mind more so. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. Is taking things too far? Maybe the problem you have isn't with the movie, it's with women. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some important questions about the next Star Wars film, specifically related to Kylo Ren's fashion choices. 